So we just had the guy um, come to see if he could connect up the gas and more problems. <laughs> he can't do it today because the whole old pipe needs to be uh, replaced. Basically he had a look underneath the cabinet and again, surprise, surprise, it's been, last time it was put in, it was basically like bodged to put in. So he said it's just like supported in there with polystyrene and spray foam which obviously doesn't pass the boat safety certificate so it came and he was like you have a boat safety certificate which we do um but the more we do stuff to this boat the more we're kind of starting to think i don't know is it like a forged boat safety certificate or is i don't know was it like a friend of a friend that did it because so many like experts have come onto this boat and been like this wouldn't pass the boat safety certificate and i'm really shocked when we say that we do have a valid one i think they're valid for five years so yeah basically um he's gone now so ryan's gonna come and do lay the pipe himself and then we're gonna get this guy back just to connect it all up um so yeah a bit frustrating <laughs> i feel like we're just getting to the end of our like tethers now <laughs> everything is just causing a problem everything is costing a lot of money and i really just want the whole point of buying this was so that we would save money in the long i know in the long run like we knew we were going to take on a lot of debt in order to be able to save money in the future by not paying rent and all of those things um i just thought it would be would be saving money quicker than we actually are so yeah i feel a bit <laughs> upset today um i feel upset because it's like you think one thing is going to get sorted and then it doesn't and there's a problem and i find it really embarrassing when these like experts come on the boat and they're like shocked at the state of it basically makes me feel shame <laughs> so you need to work on that but anyway um i've just brought some boxes and unpacked them and then now i'm just gonna be trying to clean the bathroom the grout off of the tiles so anyway just give you an update um hopefully i might just look back at the videos from a year ago to be like right this is how far we've come relax I just thought I should probably do a before and after if I can manage to actually clean them. <laughs> um, we'll see. So this will look like before. So it literally grout everywhere. Covered and the floor as well. Hopefully we can get it clean. just walked on one wall and it's the wall that wasn't even that dirty <laughs> i thought i'd build up to the really dirty one but have a look i don't even know if you can tell that i've done anything looks i don't know it was clean before i guess but it wasn't there was lots of bits everywhere but i think it looks all right so i'm gonna go get some lunch now because it's midday and i have to eat otherwise i'll fall over and then I will continue and hopefully, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to do the floor today, but if I can try and do the wall, I will feel happy. Two hours of cleaning. Can you tell? I've done the bit above the, um, it's getting there. Oh look, you can see how dirty that is. I am so hot. It is roasting on there. And literally I've been scrubbing for two hours. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I'm gonna get some water. And then it'll hopefully be another hour. Then I'll be done, maybe. <clears throat> I'm totally torn because weirdly, now that I'm into it, I'm kind of enjoying it. I wouldn't say enjoying, I'd rather not do it. However, it is quite satisfying that it, all the grout is coming off and it looks quite nice. Um, but I've scheduled in my mind about three or four hours of work today and it's two o'clock. So, I don't know. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna do it. And I'll just have to work this evening if I need to. So the grout is on so tough because we left it on for so long. I think we just, neither of us wanted to clean it. And every time we went to grout or do something in the bathroom, it just felt like a massive, massive job. So we didn't want to clean afterwards. At the end of the day, we didn't want to come back and clean it off. In hindsight, which I feel like I have said multiple times in previous videos, in hindsight, clean the grout off. But we don't learn, we just don't learn. So there's some bits on the wall of which are have leftover grout on and it's really large pieces. For these bits, I'm actually using a flat ended screwdriver to literally scrape it off. Um, it's not damaging the tiles at all, which is great. Um, but I'm using the flat ended screwdriver just to literally chip off the really big bits of grout. And then um, a small wire brush just to brush off any smaller bigger pieces um, and then I've just got a normal cloth which I'm literally just holding between my finger and thumb and scrubbing using like my knuckle basically to um, literally rub any kind of residue of the grout off of the tiles so far it is actually working um, it looks quite good and the tile background is white so you can definitely see where you've missed, which is very, very helpful. Um, and they're looking good. doing this now is I said before that I'm enjoying it I'm not enjoying it but I realized that if I do this now I have to do it again <laughs> it's like that weird thing of I don't want to do this at all so I might as well get it done now because we're gonna be hopefully moving we're not moving on permanently on the weekend but moving a whole load of boxes like two full carfuls i think of stuff over so that then the following friday we can just bring the last bits and pieces over and then that's it then we're going to be living on the boat ah scary I really don't think I can do any more. <laughs> I've been scrubbing it now for three and a half hours and I think I'm done. It's just like the bottom row to do, but I'm I'm exhausted and my fingers are like red raw. Eesh. Looks much cleaner though. 
can't even notice those bottom rows, but it's the two, it's like two tiles at the bottom that need to be done. Oh my gosh, I stayed and I finished it. I had a couple of biscuits and I got a second wind. It's getting there. I haven't done the floor and I haven't cleaned the shower tray. But that is all I can do today. So I'm sorry that today's video has just been you watching me clean. <laughs> but that is a very good job done. And a job that I did not want to do. And I have a blister. Can you see that? I have a blister on my finger from scrubbing. Can you see? Maybe. Anyway, that just proves how much scrubbing I've done. <laughs> and even though it's sore and I'm exhausted, I, am, I don't have to do it again. I'm so happy that job is done. So just need to do the floor now, clean the shower tray. I do need to grout the tiles. The, yeah, and then that bathroom will be done. And then do you know what I want to do? Never step foot in there again is what I want to do. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. We've also got some pictures here, paintings that are ready to go up. Just needs to decide where they're going to go. We'll see next, we might film moving day, but there we go. So this weekend, moving boxes on. See you later. I'm getting towards the end of the edit and I actually got a little bit emotional when I edited together that little montage of the clips of videos from about a year ago. It was probably a little bit less than a year ago, but even so, it just shows us how far we've come. I don't think either of us realised that taking on this project, we would get this far. I also don't think that we realised that we would actually strip the boat back as much as we did. Um, you can see in the little clips, we literally stripped it completely back so you can see the steel at the base of the boat, which I think was a little more extreme than we anticipated. Originally, we were just going to replace the kitchen and that this is what it turned into. But we've learned so, so much doing this project. Physical skills and also learnt about each other and ourselves. Um, but in terms of skills... Like, we didn't even have a hammer when we started this project. And I feel like we've come so far. We're still learning. We are always going to be learning. I don't think we will ever know half of the amount of stuff that is available to know about an narrowboat. But we are getting there. Every day we're learning something new, which can't be a bad thing. I was feeling a little bit low about the boat, which I said in the video. And... Look, being able to look back on last year and see how far, just how far we've come is quite amazing. Um, I think it's really important to be able to reflect on how far you have come in a journey like this. And we're so lucky that we managed to film all of everything that we were doing. So thank you if you've come on this journey with us. Um, it's quite amazing if you've been here for a whole year. Um, and if you're new to the journey, there's lots to come. If you didn't know, we have a hole in the boat, which needs to get sorted. Um, that will be upcoming, <laughs> hopefully in the next year, if we can afford it. Um, and actually, in next week's video, we are moving on board the boat permanently, which is so exciting. Um, so next week's a big video. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for watching this week's and we'll see you next week. <laughs>